C3 AI Process Optimization app enables users to streamline and enhance their industrial process by recommending system set points to achieve a specific optimization objective. To inform its optimization model, the application's AI optimizer incorporates all available internal plan data, such as those found in SCADA and PLC, as well as external source data, such as weather forecast or market financials. In this demo, I will show the key capabilities of the base application applied to a steam cogeneration plant whose objective is maximizing steam production. The target user persona in this demo are the process engineer and the operator. Note, even though this demo focuses the workflow in a steam cogeneration facility, our UI and workflows can easily be configured to your facility-specific process optimization use case and objective. We have experience deploying our application to various industries, including petrochemical, oil and gas, and even sugar production. I will first demo from the perspective of a process engineer in a steam cogeneration facility to show how they interact with the C3 AI application, and then switch over to demo from the perspective of an operator. Let's get started. I, as a process engineer, am responsible for providing recommendations to operators for how to best optimize the system. I'm also responsible for performing due diligence and gathering evidence to support my recommendations. I leverage the C3 AI process optimization app in order to review production performance and evaluate generated optimizations to accomplish my objective of maximizing steam production. The first thing I see when I open the C3 AI app is this process overview page. This shows top information as an engineer that I need high visibility, including the top KPIs, latest production data, and a summary of recommendations to optimize steam production. At the top of the screen, I can see several KPIs that are relating to the impact of my optimization, such as aggregate power due to the additional steam that has been generated, as well as the corresponding financial impact. I can also see the optimization adoption rate, which I can further get information at the bottom about which specific optimization were accepted or rejected. Note, although we see Steam-specific KPIs in this demo, these tiles are highly configurable. These can be interchanged with any other KPI of interest. In other customer use cases, we have configured to show KPIs such as downstream demand, carbon metric on saved, and so on. In the middle of the page, I can see a preview of the most recent generated optimization. I can see that there is an opportunity to increase production by roughly 42,000 kilowatts an hour, leading to an increase of about $10,500. I can also see a quick snapshot of the optimal set points for this particular optimization run. For each set point recommendation, I can see the current process value alongside the value that is displayed. The time series graph right below also helps me visualize the plant's historical production compared to its potential optimized state, along with tracking of previously accepted or rejected optimization. Before I send the recommendation to the operator, I want to learn more about how they were generated in order to gain confidence that I'm actually recommending the correct actions. To do this, I can click on the view detail on the optimization preview. The optimization detail page provides an in-depth view of the recommended set points along with contextualized trending and evidence packages to help me evaluate this optimization result. I can see the five unique set point values that are recommended by the system's optimization. Similar to the process overview page, I can see the current and optimal value along with a set point delta or the amount to adjust each set point. However, as an engineer, I also want context on the range of the set point recommendation and their historical operating values. To do this, I can click on the side of the first set point to expand the row. Here, I can see the distribution of set point values over the past three months. Using this visualization, I can see that the current recommended set point falls safely in the range of previously operating values. If I want to view more details on key process variables at different operating periods, I can do this by clicking on the variable tab here. For example, 
If I'm concerned about steam turbine gas flow, I can view its historical and optimized value in relation to the upper and lower bounds in the time series graph here. I can also adjust for different time periods, such as operating during summer or winter months, which I may be interested in investigating. Finally, as an engineer, I want to view settings that were used to generate this optimization in order to gain insight and build confidence on this machine learning approach. To do this, I can click on the Optimization Configuration tab and view the objective function, optimization variable, expressions, and constraints that are used to run this optimization. I can also view the upper and lower bounds for each constraint and variable and can cross-check that they actually match my current system conditions. After this final review, I'm satisfied that the system configuration is correct and set points seem reasonable. I'm ready to send this to the operator. To do this, I can click on send to the operator and get this pop-up screen. In here, I can write a note to the operator and can also attach any files that I think the operator might find helpful in understanding. After this, I can click here on send and I can see the status of the optimization is now sent. I will now demo from the perspective of an operator. I am a busy operator, monitoring many different screens and responsible for ensuring the process is optimized, safe, and reliable. As a result, I require a way to obtain clear information about recommended set points so I can quickly assess the validity and necessity of the recommendation without disrupting my normal workflow. At the start of my shift, I get an email notification that my engineer has sent me new recommended set points for review. I open the operator view screen where I can see a streamlined view of the key process information. At the top, I see the status, the name of the engineer who sent the recommendation and the financial benefit. The recommended set points are the focus of this page. Here, I can quickly absorb the information about which set point to adjust and what values to set them to. I can see the current value, the optimized value, and the recommended delta for the set point. This helps me determine if this is a reasonable value to accept. I can also view comments that the process engineer might have sent here at the bottom of this page. After review, I'm comfortable implementing this action. I click accept and then accept and implement to confirm. This navigates me back to the operator view where I can see the updated optimization status now reads accepted.